I grew up at a time that we were undergoing change in this country. Um, you know, my uh, formative years were obviously in the 60s. Um, you know, the country was facing Vietnam. Uh, the country was facing how do we move forward as a society. And um, in many regards, the civil rights movement held itself up as a mirror to what we were doing as a society. The thing that I hope people can walk away with is to find the ability to cheer for the underdog. When you look at the fact that the odds are stacked against them, but as a result of the risk these students took, the rewards were changing laws connected to segregation and redefining public policy. I am here because of God's grace and mercy and forgiveness and understanding. There's no question about that. And from where I was back in July of 2018 to where we are now, we've come a long way. Doing projects like this, even though I've been able to do some work and we'll probably end up doing some more work on air this coming spring on a part-time basis. Uh, you know, I mean, we've got treatment stuff, we're working around it, we're getting better, we're getting stronger. But I think these projects have become a gift. And when I say a gift, to me, having the ability to do something that perhaps makes a difference. Um, mortality, yes. You gotta deal with it. But if you can use the time you have left to inspire, to make people think, and to bring about some kind of positive change or reaction, hopefully it's time well spent.